end of these renegades. All that is certain is a wave of destruction that shows no sign of stopping anytime soon. These snowmobiling thrill seekers have turned our planet into their own personal raceway. We can only recommend that private citizens stay in their homes, stay calm, and stay safe. Your goal? To win. Destroy your opponents and gain an edge by collecting power-ups. Atomic snowballs. Super attack. Boost. Snowball. Proximity missile. Win all 12 gold medals. The race is on! Holy fuck, that's straight up terrorism. And that snowman was alive. Wait a second. Yeah. Clearly, it was a sentient being. It had it had conscious feelings and, and shit like that. Wait a second, if we pretend it was the Michael Keaton snowman from Jack Frost, we can feel better about it. Okay, I feel much better now. Alright guys, welcome to Arctic Thunder. Whoa. It's got uh, all Seriously, saved. that was straight up terrorism. Look at him, he's firing fucking missiles. I didn't play this yeah. game clearly. Well, if um, that wasn't clear, it is clear now. Arctic Thunder started as an arcade game. You might have heard of Hydro Thunder. They're both by Midway. They're both in the same line of Thunder games. Arctic Thunder is a racing game on snowmobiles where you have uh, weapons and such. Started out in the arcades. You know, you put coins in the thing, tried to get first. They ported it to consoles, and Did now, they add anything? Um, well, I don't know if they had points matches or anything in the arcade. I don't remember playing it. Well, I played. Well, let me just step in and say that I played the arcade, and I've never played the home version. And Whoa, that guy's name is Dirty McCurdy. Yeah, he's pretty badass. You've got your uh, cast of characters with weird names. Agent Five? Is that what it said? Yeah. I always played as Ponzo here. What? Yeah. What? Yeah. Candy Ice. Oh, she, okay, she's she's like it. she's like the poor person's Kaori. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Candy Ice. <laughs> So, at least in the home version, uh, I'm, I'm assuming the arcade version was just like every other arcade game where it's like, if you win, you get another free play. But, yeah. uh, in the home version... You could, like, input the code to save your profile. Home version, you start with six out of the twelve tracks. You can go to, I guess, career mode and try to get first place in those, and I guess you get something when you get first place, but the AI cheats, of course, so I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna go to points mode, which is like arcade mode, and you see points going all over the screen. Wait, I think wait, wait! Be more so you're fun. not gonna go through and get first? Because the way you unlock new things, the way you unlock tracks, the way you unlock riders and such, is to go into points mode, race, get points, and then buy them with the points. So, oh, well, it's like there was another. Then there's like, no fucking point doing the. Oh, okay, no. Fine. Oh, I remember there was a car racing game that did that too. There was like a. Uh, I can't remember the name of it, but you, if you went through the uh, like championship or whatever, it didn't give you shit you had to go through. This uh, is a lot more intense than I was imagining. Yeah. It it's is. just, it's just shit I guess, oh everywhere. my god, mostly because I, I don't know why, I guess I was just ex expecting something a little more tame. So, yeah, it's arcadey as shit, and you can see all the... Uh, attacks you can do. I guess I can try to go through all of them. Well, you have the green boosts and then you have a bunch of attacks that... And those were indigenous people's huts. You have a bunch just... of attacks you can fire. You have missiles and such. You can collect snow bombs. Playing them behind you. Um, you, you have health. It'll restore your health bar. You have a shield. It'll prevent you stuff, from yeah. being damaged. You have an invisibility power-up, which I swear the AI targets you anyways. So. Yeah, I don't I don't see how that would be useful. Yeah, I remember seeing reviews for this, saying it wasn't nearly as good as the arcade, that's why I never picked it up as a kid. I mean, wow. it, it, it's the standard kind of, everyone seems to go after you, you know. Anyway. Yeah. And I, it, it really seems like the only way to win races is if there are a bunch of boost power-ups right before the end. So hey, you can, look, another one of those so, snow things so going through the lava. Right at the end. Yeah, but they're snowmobiles, so you can kind of go on racing. Sure, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I, I can buy this. 
Although the amount of snow that's being tracked there doesn't really oh, make well, any sense. But that's a that's a rooster power up. You get a rooster power up, and you just blind everyone behind you. No, I meant the tracks on the ground. Yeah, the snow tracks. But it's that's like, it lasts forever. forever. I've been kicking up dirt. So, twelve tracks. I'm gonna do a run through of every one of them. Um, and yeah, you can get on the high scoreboard at the end. No biggie. Number six. Yeah, yeah, that's my boy. Top ten, but that's not very good when there's only ten people. Yeah. It's pretty easy to get on the uh, high score things at the end. So yeah. Are there more than ten people? Well, you have ten slots for the ten highest scores on that level. Select your right. Like, what are you? Oh, I thought there's top. I thought that was like rankings for that race. Oh. There's Chernobyl like, meltdown. There's like eight people per race or something. I have a feeling you guys don't actually go to Chernobyl for this one. Um. Since you'd be dead. Well, that didn't stop us from uh, the previous track. We drove into a volcano. That's true. Well, we don't know. Those if people this built would... a big ass mask over that volcano. Well, keep in mind he's playing. Nice. He's playing as a mutant. I should mention like this freaky. Is um, he a Yeti mutant thing. or is he some kind of gorilla? I'm just a straight up monkey. I don't know if any of these characters have backstory. I guess Agent Five is trying to win, but he's well, well secretly we all know... he's Skirex's arch well, nemesis or something. A well, the agent is actually trying to stop all these terrorists on snowmobiles. Right, yeah, no, he's by, he's beating them from the inside, yeah. Yeah, by, but Fighting he, the power from the inside. Yeah. But I gotta say, so, the game's from 2001. Uh -huh. So, I mean, I, I guess it is pretty good for a game released at that time. I've just, you know, playing a lot of recent racing games, and especially Sonic All-Star Racing Transform, right. I really wish I could shoot projectiles behind me. Because I get in first place. And I know I'm just gonna get fucked. Yeah, you're just gonna get butt fucked. Like, so, is the game fun? Yeah, it, it is pretty fun, especially because points mode, you know, you always get points. You don't lose them. That's true, yeah. So it's not... It's just, you don't have to really... Like, the only thing that you have to worry about is getting shot. That's yeah. about it. I, yeah, I admit, I'm not trying to play this for all the gold medals or such. I'm just doing this because I... I have the game, and I can record it, and there's not a lot of videos for it. Yeah. It's, it is pretty fun, if I can, like, just put in my opinion on the fun factor. Just because there is so much shit everywhere. I mean, there's just power-ups at every turn. Yeah, I mean, I yeah, mean look. That, that's what it seems like. You know, look, there's just points going all over the place. There's jumps all over the place. Well, that's a pretty sick jump. Yeah, we're yeah, going through a nuclear reactor, dude. We are in Chernobyl. Yeah, okay, the, well, it, it's just it's got a nice feel like all the big open areas that it yeah. just jumps out into you don't feel claustrophobic like in some racers yeah, yeah that's that's true it does thanks uh <laughs> it does seem like you're you're kind of what's the word uh free yeah you're free you've got this be these big open environments how are the level does the level design feel good I mean, if that level looked good, then that's pretty much how they all are. Okay. The levels are mostly, they're pretty much all like a minute 40 to a minute 50 long. They're pretty much all the same length, but, you know, it's not like you get bored of the level. Right. Um, each level has some shortcuts, usually like one or two. Um, so if, if this game has, you said 12 tracks? Yeah. Uh, how many videos do you think I'll this is going to be? I'll be four, probably. Four, probably. I'll do three tracks a video. And then maybe a bonus video to show off the other writers or something. Maybe. I maybe. I mean, if there's anything interesting. Yeah. There. Um, the next video, I'll go into more about like the stats and stuff. Dude, what if it? Writer, what if it? But... What if it snowed in DC? <laughs> I remember recording this. I I was thinking I need to make that joke, and I too just, late. I was about to forget completely. So thank you for that. You're yes. welcome. What you if it snowed in DC? Do you want to hug? I Sure. Okay, we're gonna hug. We're hugging Two it out. Two straight right guys. Now. Yeah, just hugging just it out. Hugging it out. Alright, there, there's your power up legend, so I don't know. Yep. Well, I should clarify Rooster that. Rooster Tail? What's um, Rooster Tail? Oh, you I, just explained that. Never mind. Fuck I, just want, I just want to clarify that when I played this in the arcade, this was the track I played all the time, so I know all of the uh, elite strats here and shortcuts. Yeah. Well, as the you, yellow strats? Yes. As you can tell, I like Hashtag to go off the rings. Strats. I like to go off the rings. This seems like a really patriotic map, especially contrasted with that. Uh, um, that last tr 
Chernobyl. Yeah. I know. Dirty, dirty, dirty really, rusky commies. Is it really patriotic to um, storm your missile armed snowmobile all over the White House? <laughs> Uh, oh, yeah. Not necessarily the White House. It's and just also, over DC. Also, which still tester. be a fe felony. Once you watch the video and once you hear the music that goes with this track, that's pretty patriotic. Hold on, let me hear it. Well, not this part, but they had a part where it was like "Hail to the Chief," but on a like yeah. guitar. Really? Oh, that's pretty badass. Yeah, this is turn that good... shit up. That's why I played this track all the time when I was a kid. Yeah, because you, you were a, a little patriotic motherfucker. You were American. Yes. Hell. Yeah. I wore a fucking American flag on my head or something. You I know, know, I, uh, uh, side note, uh, when I came to college. Never mind, I won't tell the story. Cliffhanger! <laughs> Whoa! Join us the next episode and hear more about Blink Tester's amazing life. You'll have life. to donate to hear the rest of that story. A few. Okay, I think this was the shortcut you told me to avoid, but I had to do my damnedest to get into it. What? I told what? you not to what? go there. I had to huh? glitch through the ceiling, okay? What's so wrong with what? that? What? I told you. What is even... I... What? What was that? That, short... that shortcut sucks. What the hell was that? I just I just went through the ceiling. Nothing else. Uh, I I don't understand what happened at all. Uh, a few quick things. So you see, I can do tricks when I go off sure, the ramps. Yeah. Those are automatic. I can't choose what trick I do. Sometimes you do level one tricks. Sometimes you do level two, level oh. three. I don't know when that happens. Um, this flashing is when I'm basically one hit away from Death. getting knocked off. Oh, okay. Um, um, you, you do you do you do the tricks take the same amount of time? Yeah, you can't. The tricks okay. are just the tricks are just an aesthetic thing. You actually can't crash when doing the tricks. Oh, okay. Like if you land before your tricks finished, your guy will just keep going, even if he's like back flipping off the thing. Right. I always thought that looked awkward in the arcade. Go you could like so land upside fast down to win. Wow, I just saw that. Yeah. Yeah. A A A was from a previous thing. You may, you may have noticed at the start of this video, I already had like a hundred thousand points. Yeah. Also, so you might have seen all the points I was getting. When I hit someone with a projectile, I get 100. When I take them out, I get 200. But if I punch them off their uh, snowmobile, mm. I get 500. Nice. So Support violence. Yeah. As a pacifist, I agree. So, Arctic Thunder. America! Pretty damn Fuck yeah. fast, pretty quick. The strategies, um, I'd say the strategies for this game are that there are no strategies. Gotta go fast. Just drive, just mash the attack button as much as possible. Be a badass. And, uh, that's it. See you guys next time, I guess, right? Anything else? Anything else? Nope. Okay, great. See you guys, See you guys next, next time. time. Bye. That was Arctic Thunder.